This is Ozark's Fox AM. Good morning and welcome to Ozark's Fox AM. I'm Jeremy Rabe. And I'm Kelly Smith. Thank you for joining us today. On and this day before Valentine's oh Day. Oh my goodness, it is the day before Valentine's. And I have to tell you, you're looking very festive. Well, I felt like I needed to. It's the, I wore reds yesterday. And I'm wearing pinks and red today, and I'll have something for tomorrow because you got to wear all the pinks and reds the week of love. Why didn't you tell me? Because I don't. I, I assumed you knew it was the week of love. I just no. It's just Hi, I, Valentine's Day is always the 14th tomorrow. I know, but I I'm just I'm just now kind of sort of getting on board today here. Oh, so, I just I saw the blue first, and then yeah, I then, now see, yeah, see the the, the, pink the red and, and pink. And this, yes. Does uh, burgundy count? Burgundy count. I'm wearing this is kind of a burgundy reddish jacket. Oh my gosh, I may have to go buy something specifically for. For tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have to go that far. <laughs> I don't. Well, no. anyway. Uh, yes, anyway, tomorrow is Valentine's Day. Yes. Very fun. I, by the way, we have a huge giveaway. Yes. Happening that I need to mention because oh, yeah. Yeah. we posted about it this morning. It is huge. Yes. The Lion King mm -hmm. is coming to Juanita K. Hammonds Hall for the Performing Arts mm -hmm. February 27th through March 10th. Mm -hmm. Now, not only are we giving away a family four pack, so four tickets, right? But we're calling it needing a day of Hakuna Matata. You know, Tell Hakuna what that Matata. Is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. What a wonderful, wonderful phrase! Thing. It means no worries for the rest of yes. your days. Yes. So, in order to relax, we thought, what better to, way to relax than at the spa chateau? Combined. So it's a family four pack plus you get a free spa treatment at the spa chateau at the chateau on the lake. In Branson, mm -hmm. we posted it on our social media this morning. There's a li link. All you have to do is click the link. It'll take you to our website. All you have to do is enter the information, and you're mm -hmm. entered. We'll be announcing the winner, I believe, next Friday. So you're getting a family four pack right. and that's a spa treatment. treatment. Now, Jared, that's a great deal. It's. Whoa! It means yes. no worries. No worries. For the rest of your day. I love this song. It's our problem free. Philosophy, Hakuna Matata. See, yes. who doesn't want to relax yeah. at the spa? Absolutely. And, and see the Lion King. And can I just bring something up that you mentioned yesterday or day yes, before? Yes, you can. If you will go get a pedicure, you can wear uh, sandals any day of oh. the world. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, said, you said, can I go? Because sometimes we do let things go in the winter time, you know? Well, from Elisa's forecast that I saw that's coming up, I think tomorrow, Valentine's Day, is going to be it's quite warm. It's going to be nice. I could wear shorts and flip-flops, technically. You totally could, yes. If it's in the 60s, I can't remember what to forecast that. I don't want to well, forecast no, it yeah. for she'll, her. She'll tell us here in a little bit. But, yeah, um, but although, I, you know my story with pedicures. I haven't had good luck. You have? I got no, one. I've I had one haven't. pedicure. I know. And I have a tendency to get ingrown toenails. Yes. So she clipped my toenails so short, I had the worst ingrown toenail of my life and had to have surgery. Oh, that is I good. had to have surgery. On one foot or two? On one toe. Oh, my, my main big toe on my right foot. Well, that is not a good story. That so, is so painful. Oh, my I, word. I just don't like it when, when they clip it so short. Yeah. And then I have, I have to, a tens. I have to say. What? I do my own pedicures, too. Just oh, you do your day. own? Yeah, yeah, I, I do now. Have just, you had an ingrown toenail? No, but I've had some problems. They're okay. very painful. Yeah, oh, yeah. Very painful. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted the calf massage, basically. <laughs> oh, so what am I going to say? Don't clip the nails. Just give me a just calf massage. Just give me a calf massage. That's right. I love yeah. that part. Lauren, do you yes. get pedicures? <laughs> but, yeah, more so in the summer. In the winter, yeah. it is kind of easy just to Let forget about it. Have you ever yeah. had an ingrown toenail? No. Oh, my I'm gosh. Sorry. Who Has anybody in the studio had one? Okay, Clint, yeah. camera up. Ivy has. Yeah. Are they not the most painful things ever? They're all is, shaking their head, yeah. And Elisa yes. is very mad that I'm talking about ingrown toenails. <laughs> we all have our own issues. That just we doesn't do. happen to be mine. Yeah. Sorry. Okay. And Valentine's okay. just tomorrow. <laughs> I know. I know. Okay. That's okay. We still love you. Okay. Uh, and we're going to talk about some Valentine's headlines today as a result. This okay. first one is a beard bouquet. Uh, and it's amazing. It's exactly what you might think. It's little roses that can clip in your man's beard. And they're described as super comfortable, oh. and the clips will not tug or pull if you're looking for a way to stand out or if you need a gift for your guy. Maybe he's a little bit eclectic. He likes to <laughs> be different. You can get him these rose clips. Where might you be able to get those? Online? <laughs> Online, yeah. They're available for $14.99. And so actually, they released these for Christmas, too, as Christmas ornaments. Oh, they That's, did. I think it's so fun. I mean, the only person in our studio with a beard is Clint, the cameraman. Yes. And if you watch Daybreak, you know. Cody, Cody, you shot me down, too. 
Uh, he's giving me a little. He's got a good team. Are, yeah, totally he's go team. against this. Yeah, they're so totally, totally against, against it. it. So, ladies, you might have to buy one and just hand it to your yeah, man. Yeah, and just take a picture, and then they can take them out. Yes. Okay. It's just you for know? fun. I yeah. would rather see that, Lauren, than the stupid. I hate those mustaches that come and curl. Oh. So I'd rather a see, for those. yeah, there is, like a handlebar mustache, I think. But yeah. you could clip one of those on each side. Wouldn't that be cute? Right that there. That would be better that than the be. swirl. That yeah. would make it bearable. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I like them too. All, All right. excellent ideas. Something yeah. new for Valentine's. Okay, this next headline uh, is a little bit of a stray from Valentine's, but we have to address it because TSA every year comes out with the top 10 weirdest things they've discovered. Hmm. Throughout the year, some of them strange, some of them dangerous. Uh, so it's going to count you down from ten here. This first one is a hatchet. Oh they my. said, oh. "We know you're prepared for the zombie apocalypse, but that's what your checked <laughs> luggage is for." Wow. Um, whatever that is, I don't even know. I don't even know what that is. I don't either. Um, and th so a lot of is it a hor oh archery? archery? Archery. Yeah. This is okay. like Edward Scissorhands. Exactly. <laughs> Like five different switchblades that no one wow. needs. Oh. These are live snakes. <gasps> what? Snakes on a plane. Why would exactly. someone have that? Someone hit a knife in their child's uh, car seat. <gasps> and they found it. Oh my it. gosh. This is fake dynamite for whatever reason. I Idiots. Don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These, someone painted grenades um, to look like penguins. They thought that might fly. <laughs> wow. Penguins don't fly. That doesn't fly either. Uh, huge scissors. Uh, number two, what was this one? Uh, that was like a giant bomb. Um, an emotional support bomb. That's oh. what that is. Wow. And number one here <laughs> is um, from a movie. Do you guys know what that is? Freddy Krueger? Oh, oh, yeah. Nightmare on Elm yeah. Street. Yeah. But I, yeah. it kind of reminds me of the Edward Scissorhands. Yeah, it kind of does look like that. Now, the, no, nobody's really tried to bring these things on. Yeah, they did. They That's did. What, TSA found them this and confiscated crazy. them. Okay, do you remember a time when we couldn't even bring, like, nail clippers on the, on the plane? Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I still don't. I leave my tweezers yeah. at home because I'm scared I don't want to get arrested. I yeah. am so afraid I accidentally left one of my favorite colognes in my oh, care. Oh, I know. And they threw Did it they? away. Oh. Absolutely. So how do you think you're going to get on with Edward Scissorhands if they're taking my cologne? That is right. crazy. And don't make jokes about it either, guys, because these guys are not in a joking mood. I'm telling you. They say, don't say you've got this or you might have that or whatever. My mom made that mistake once. I can imagine your mom I'm doing like, that. I'm like, mother. She goes, well, it was just a joke. I'm like, are, they're gonna cart you off to jail. Stop. I could so see your I mom doing that. that. She's such a rebel. I'm like, oh my word. Please don't take her in. Please. <laughs> I know. She's gonna make this list next year. She's gonna make the list. There's Kelly's mom. She's number eight. <laughs> I know. All right, guys, that is so crazy. But anyway, Lisa, how's the weather gonna be for Valentine's? It'll actually be really nice and warm for Valentine's Day tomorrow. We're starting out with a couple of clouds this morning. It's 28 degrees, so things are a little bit chilly to start. 33 in Monette and 27 in Mountain Grove and Fort Leonard Wood out there this morning. So things are a little bit cold on the coffee meter uh, to start. Not frigid, but the kids will at least need some hats and gloves out there this morning because those temperatures are a little bit cold. Dry roads through the afternoon, so some green light conditions, but it will be breezy where you might feel the car kind of go back and forth on the highways. Uh, temperature at 60 by dismissal, mostly sunny, breezy, and warmer. With the breezy south winds will come a dry air mass, so there's an elevated fire danger for parts of the area today, mainly for the western Ozarks, uh, so no outdoor burning. Uh, please don't do that today. <laughs> Winds out of the south gust dirty to 35 miles per hour through the day today. They continue to stay breezy overnight tonight and through the day tomorrow. Those temperatures today will soar into the 50s and 60s, 60 for a high in Springfield. We drop into the 40s tonight. It's going to stay mild and by tomorrow temperatures in the 50s and 60s, 62 degrees for Valentine's Day. So it's going to be really nice. If we look at our conversation hearts here, 56 by noon temperatures in the 60s by the end of the day with a mix of sun and clouds. Things just really nice and warm for Valentine's because because we'll keep that warm southerly flow for just one more day. The uh, records for Valentine's are at uh, 75 from 1954. Zero was the coldest in 1905. All really old records, by the way. This is the early 1900s. So uh, some really interesting weather fun facts for Valentine's. After that, temperatures tumble with a cold front on Friday. Wintry mix is likely. We could have some road impacts here. Uh, we're looking at little accumulations because this system is going to be quick, but we'll probably have to worry about the roads on Friday. Uh, 34 degrees there, and then another chance for a mix to flurries overnight Saturday into Sunday. Jeremy Kelly. So, Elisa, yeah. are you saying that we need to carpool with you on Friday morning? Should we carpool with you? Oh, yeah. Because the roads will be icy? 
carpool with me? Yeah, should I call you? Sure. You up? Are you going to take her to work? Or, I, or is she going to take you She could come pick me up. Okay. I'm up in the middle of the night. You can get up early <laughs> to work You have to come in a few hours earlier. Oh, Daybreak starts at 5, Jeremy. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't think about that, Alisa. Yeah. Maybe, maybe not. Right? <laughs> okay, yeah. maybe, maybe not. I'm just looking forward to tomorrow, Lisa. Yeah, it's going to be really nice. Oh, it's going to be a great too. day. Yeah, Thank thanks you, so Lisa. much. We appreciate it. <laughs> All right, coming up, we've got our sports. You don't want to miss the sports. Yeah, we're going to catch up on that. We'll be right back. Don't yes. go anywhere. <laughs> Alisa doesn't like Ingrid and Tonell talk. No, That's what I've learned. Not on TV. That's what I've not learned from Alisa no. today. I learned